you have a slightly different background that like old time team principles, more a sponsorship and marketing background. Do you think that's what is needed in, in this modern Formula One? I think uh, it's not really uh, what you have to do in the engineering point of view, but what you have to do in the, in the managerial point of view. Many times uh, talking with friends, uh, they was thinking that the team principal uh, is giving instruction to the team when during the race on the pit wall. Actually, it's not true. <laughs> the only thing that you have to do is uh, to make sure that everything is going smoothly and rightly on the direction that you decide in the, in the pre-meeting before the race. And in case uh, the driver they are not respecting certain rule of engagement, then you have to, to intervene. You were around in the glory days with Michael Schumacher and all the titles. Do you think that this era with uh, Sebastian Vettel is capable of replicating this past success? Yeah, I, I have a wonderful uh, memory about the period of Michael. There are two champions. Michael is, I don't want to say it was, he's a champion because Michael is alive and uh, Sebastian is another champion. They have two different personalities, but they have something in common in their DNA that is simple. In one word, it's uh, the aim to win. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about S Sebastian and Sebastian up here. And talk about his teammate, Kimi Raikkonen. Do you think that he's worked hard enough to deserve this extra year? It's working very hard. Uh, he, he got, uh, in certain circumstances, uh, bad luck. I think I have some odd sound in the car. And I'm losing power. There's nothing that I can do on a strike. Understood, Kimi. Understood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Changing Kimi, in my opinion, it was a big mistake. Uh, so I'm happy that Kimi stayed, as I'm happy that we keep uh, the balance into the team and uh, we, we are very focused and on top is working very well with Sebastian and this is very, very important. In a recent conversation with Bernie, you said, or you talked to each other and said, uh, what about if we swap jobs? And he said, no, no, he shouldn't swap jobs with me, he should join me. How would you feel about just taking another step and eventually with, let's say, Bernie retiring, you taking over his role in Formula One. Would you no, feel ready for it? No, I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly happy of the job that I'm doing. I think it's uh, an honor, an achievement to work with Ferrari. I would like to finish my career here and I'm not interested in any, in any other job. Thank you, thank you very much Thanks for your to time you. and best of luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Grazie mille. Grazie. Grazie.